Here you go guys, we're in Fila Temple. We're inside the open court area now, if you have a look around. You can see there's a lot of damage done to some of the uh, figures here, if you look in front of me right now. And you'll notice that they're only on the left side and not the right side. And the reason for that is there's actually all this damage was done by the Christians who took refuge here at one point. Um, keep it closer there. And that's because they believe that they damaged all the left side. Sort of a, sort of a temple has been like a human body. Okay. And with the heart kind of sitting on the left side. And so if they just damaged everything on the left, then it was kind of kill, kill off the temple. I'm just going to get in ahead of this, uh, this tour. Like most Egyptian, ancient Egyptian temples, they have kind of a similar structure. The outer court, the inner, inner part, and then they go in through the levels up until we get to the Holy of the Holies, which is the most sacred room. Which I'm trying to kind of get to now, and then we'll just work backwards. Because I don't want to be stuck with all these people. Okay, so this is the Holy of the Holies, the most important room in an ancient Egyptian temple, and I'm very lucky because there's no one in here right now. Um, there would have been a boat with a golden statue of the god it's dedicated to. You can see here, there's all the story along, again, all the faces, damaged, 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 all this is done by the Christians who were here in the early days. Uh, and basically it goes on to tell you about the story of Isis. This temple is primarily dedicated to the goddess Isis. So again, you can just see everything's etched out everywhere. Unlike a lot of the temples in Egypt, this place actually contains evidence of six different civilizations who at some point were here. Uh, and of course I'm talking about the ancient Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, the Nubians, the Christians, and even the French at some point. And I'll show you the evidence for that. Lots of kittens in this uh, temple as well. We said about the French being here, and the reason the French came here. Oh, look at these little kittens! Oh, they're so cute. Um, okay, distracted by kittens, not good. So, the reason the French came here was to try and kill the Mamluks, who were the kings of Egypt. This is in the Napoleonic era, and there's evidence of when they were here. See all these holes here I'm pointing at. These here is where they used to tie up their horses and keep them whilst they were in the temple hiding from the French. You see here again, these are all where they would have tied up the horses and use this area here kind of as a, as a small stable. I'm now heading back out to the front of the temple. Um, I had to start kind of in this area because there's a lot of people outside and I'm trying to kind of uh, go opposite the groups so you guys can uh, actually hear what I'm saying uh, it's picked up all of a sudden again if you look at the main entrance of the temple again everything on the left side is etched and damaged all the figures Everything on the right, as it is, kind of, except for the ones at the top. One of the most interesting things about this temple is uh, is the fact that this is, isn't its original location. So, this temple was actually, um, it went under the water when they constructed the high dam and the low dam. The islands sunk under the river Nile, and then basically, Egyptian government along with the UNESCO
transported it literally stone by stone up to this island here which is literally not that far from the original Fila Island but this here isn't the original location of where this island was originally built. You can, even, you can still even see some of the numbers um, on some of the stones because they've numbered every single stone to know how to put it back together again. Really really cool and not too busy at the moment. Okay so the final part of this quick tour will be through here. Right in front of me there you can see another temple. That is a Roman temple, however it's unfinished. So a lot of evidence in this uh, temple for the Christians being here especially. They've carved crosses everywhere, they even built an altar used as a small church. because he broke my ankle there. There we go, you can see that I'm finished because there's only two sets of uh, drawings or writings on the wall and the rest of it is completely blank. The Romans never finished it off. Wheel 1827 and again 1885. Lots and lots of graffiti everywhere, probably from the French, I imagine. Lots and lots of graffiti here from the 1800s. You can see. Anyone who knows anything about military history knows that that is, uh, I believe, a French uh, eagle. Um, and they've, they've tried to do two kind of uh, hieroglyphic writings underneath it. Probably their regimental name, I'm assuming, maybe. A bit. Also on this side, 1844-1836. 1891 there in Arabic. I suppose if you want to do graffiti somewhere, it's going to last forever. An ancient Egyptian temple, probably they want to do it in, but it's a shame obviously because it damages the temple. But I suppose people perhaps, it was kind of early stages of the discovery of ancient Egypt. Obviously, for the locals, this place has always been here. But the importance of it perhaps didn't come so apparent until later on. So, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of Kila Temple. Definitely, if you're going to be doing the Aswan tour, come here. It's very, very interesting. Um, with lots and lots of cultures meeting each other in one place. There you go guys, until the next location, I hope you enjoyed this talk.